Hello, and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Amy, and in celebration of National Honey Bee Day, we are going to be looking at the complex structure of a honeycomb cell. Did you know that the shape of a honeycomb maximizes its volume for honey storage while minimizing the amount of wax needed to create it? Today, I will show you how to build a mathematically complex shape without calculus and equations, and rather, we will use geometry, sketch relations, and 3D sketches to build a representation of a honeycomb cell with a hexagonal top and a rhombic bottom. All right, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to sketch a hexagon on our top plane. I will use our polygon tool, sketch a hexagon, and add some basic dimensions so that we fully define our sketch. Next, we will extrude our shape. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to sketch some reference geometry on our right plane. 3D sketches are easier to control and manipulate when you can use reference sketches and points. So now we are ready to create our 3D sketch. I will go up to sketch, select 3D sketch, and select our line tool. From here, I will sketch a line from this point here to this point here. From here, I will sketch another line down to this edge and back up to our first point. I will then draw a line from this point here to our center line that we created and back down to this point. From here, I will add some relationships and make these two lines perpendicular. I will also make these two lines perpendicular. I will also make this line here construction. So now we are ready to exit our sketch and create a surface. I will go to our surfacing tab, select filled surface, and you can see it automatically chose our 3D sketch. I will go ahead and click OK. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to do a circular pattern of our surface that we created. For our direction, I will choose our center line. And for our bodies, I will choose our surface that we just created. We will make sure that it's three instances and click OK. We will use this to remove the tetrahedrons to create our prism. Next, I will select our intersect tool and go ahead and as our selections, choose our surfaces and our main body. I will choose Create Both and click Intersect. From here, what we can do is we can choose the areas that we would like to remove, like so. Down below, I will choose Consume Surfaces. This will remove those bodies. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now we have the basis for our cell. From here, I'll go ahead and select our Shell tool and select this face as our opening and click OK. And there we have it, a shape very similar to a honeycomb cell. And to show why bees have optimized the shape in multiple dimensions, I have made an assembly of these cells and you can see how they fit together front and back like puzzle pieces. By using a 3D sketch and using reference geometry and existing points, we were quickly and easily able to create a mathematically complex shape and build a representation of a honeycomb cell. Thank you for watching my tech tip and be sure to check out our channel for more great content.